Dustin Zaner with Creating the Difference. One of the most important components to your overall ball reaction is the surface on your bowling ball. And one item many bowlers don't know about is that changing the standing direction relative to your track can really affect your ball motion. But before we get to that, let's talk about some basics. In bowling, there are four types of ball motion. Angular, continuous, traction, and straight. Using these four types of ball motion, we can create an arsenal for any tournament or league. Now when we talk about sanding a bowling ball relative to the bowler's track, you may ask, what is the track? The track is the part of the bowling ball that actually touches the lane. Now let's talk about changing your ball reaction by changing the direction in which you are sanding the bowling ball relative to your track with the same sanding pad. Remember when you are doing sanding on your bowling balls, you must sand the entire surface for it to be legal in USBC competition. Here you'll see a video showing a bowling ball being sanded parallel to the bowler's track. In this video you'll see a bowling ball being sanded perpendicular to the bowler's track. Now I'll let Ron give you an in-depth explanation on sanding around the bow tie. This spot right here is where the track actually crosses. That's called the bow tie. There's one on the top of the ball and there's one on the bottom of the ball. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start right here from the top and we're going to surface the bowling ball in a circular motion right from the top and we're going to go lot, lot, around and around and around in this fashion. Now let's take a look at some performance data from shots thrown with the same bowling ball, same sanding pad, but with different sanding directions. All these shots were thrown by a robot, tracked by Specto, and used the bowler variables as shown on screen. Now looking at an overlay of these three shots, we can see that there is a large difference when comparing the three methods of sanding the bowling balls. When sanding the bowling ball in circular motions around the bow tie, it gives us a ball motion similar to traction. When sanding the bowling ball perpendicular to the track, it gives us a motion similar to continuous. And finally, when sanding the bowling ball parallel to the track of the bowler, it gives us a ball motion similar to angular. Understanding how sanding direction can impact your ball motion can be the difference between good and great scores when you're bowling in league or in tournaments. If you have any questions or need more information, feel free to check us out at ctdbowling.com. Dustin Zaner with Creating the Difference. Have a great day.